And the answer I give you in all frankness is I believe this is going to depend absolutely on whether the Infrastructure Planning Commission is in being or not. That is what I believe is going to hang on. If the Infrastructure Planning Commission has been wrapped up, it's left to the local authority, I am 100% confident that your good councillors of all political complexions on the Tumbridge and Morning Borough Council will be voting this thing down. And um, I also believe that if you decide to change the composition of the government, an incoming Secretary of State is not going to allow this particular development in this particular location. But being, again, <coughs> frank with you, I have to say that if the IPC is in being when this planning application comes forward, then we will fight it all away. We'll put out every possible argument. We'll use all the arguments that will be used if the key application gets turned down. But if the national planning statement dictated by the government says we've got to have international freight terminals here, there, and everywhere, then the bureaucrats, unaccountable, unelected, irremovable in the IPC, I fear they could give this and others a go ahead. That is what I fear. And so I believe it's going to hang on the IPC. And uh, I just end by saying that my party, and I believe it's also the position of the Liberal Democrats as well, we are totally opposed to the IPC. And if I may just give you chapter and verse as to why my party voted against the planning yes. bill, as it then was, on the second reading on the 10th of December 2007, this was our motion. That this House declines to give a second reading to the planning bill because Whilst there is a need to speed up the planning system and undo the extra bureaucracy created in the 2004 Act, the bill creates a new infrastructure planning commission which is fundamentally undemocratic and unaccountable to both local and national elected representatives, deprives Parliament of the ability to approve, amend or reject national planning statements and fails to guarantee that all revenues from the community infrastructure levy will be fully retained by local authorities, and because the combination of the IPC, the Homes and Communities Agency, and more powerful regional development agencies represents the systematic dismantling of local democracy to the detriment of the local environment and local accountability. That was our motion. And that is where we stand. And I can assure you that if the people of Britain, and it's your decision, and I'm not making any political points on a non-political meeting, but if British people should decide they want to change the government, then one of the very, very first acts I will do, if I am returned, will be to go to the incoming Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government, which will be the key Secretary of State, and say to him or her, I want you, the first thing to do, to stop the IPC in its tracks, wind it up, because I have in my constituency a rail freight interchange on Greenbelt land of high environmental quality, a development which I, and as far as I'm aware, every single one of my constituents are totally opposed to. Thank you.